This video is sponsored by SCORE. Discover if a master's in petroleum engineering is right for you, and stay until the end of this video to learn more about this program. I had some trouble trying to word this properly, but I'm going to try my best. I will just get to the point and say the short answer to would I have picked a different major if I could go back is yes. What would that have been? Either a double major in math and physics, or a math major in physics minor. The longer answer to that question is maybe though, and let me explain why. When I was in high school, these were the majors I was considering after a bit of looking, and I had a lot of trouble narrowing it down. All of them seemed so interesting, and I'm the type of person who loves learning new things, especially in the STEM field. But I eliminated math and physics because I thought all you could do is become a teacher, which was definitely not a goal of mine. But anyone who's a subscriber to this channel knows that's not all you can do, and it's a big reason why I made major prep. When I was in high school, I did very minimal research and often the wrong research when it came to looking for a major, and I don't want other people to have those same issues. Going back though, since engineering was basically a combination of math and physics to design and test things, that was of course going to be a good path for me. And after going through AP Physics in high school, I really enjoyed the electricity and magnetism portion. So combined with the fact that you can get into a broad range of projects with a major, I chose electrical engineering. Again, let me just emphasize that I loved my major. There were so many topics I found interesting, I got an internship after my third year, and I got three job offers before graduating. It's just after working on this channel and doing research over time, there are some things that I've realized. I realized that I find myself very passionate about the math and physics concepts I come across. When I do videos on like the math major or physics topics, I often will watch full lectures here on YouTube, sometimes even do problems along the way because I want to know that information. Yes, I have completed a few lecture series and I have just watched videos on graph theory, quantum physics, topology, and so on. Whenever I look into research, whether it be in pure or applied math, I find it really interesting. Then AI, quantum computers, astrophysics, and so on also really fascinate me. Whenever I watch videos on them, I always find myself saying, wow, I want to learn more about those things. Whether it's more applied or theoretical, I can easily see myself in a math or physics related field because I know I would enjoy it. Engineering absolutely used a ton of math and physics, and you'll see even more at a master's level, which I know some people will say, and I totally agree. It's just after more exposure, I realized I want to dive deeper into the real high-level math and physics and get more involved in those projects and research. So maybe you can kind of tell by the way I talk about all these things why I might have chosen a math or physics route. But now the question is, why is the longer answer to this video I maybe would have chosen a different major? Because there is another side to all this, and there are a few reasons actually. Number one, at least for me, is I would not want just a bachelor's in math or physics. If I get into those fields, I'd be going for a research position where I would want and need further education. Seriously, whenever I read books or watch videos on people in these fields of math, physics, and engineering, it's always the ones in a research position where I'm like, wow, I wish I had that job. I know all of them don't necessarily have masters or PhDs, but a lot of them do, and taking the time to really focus on a subject you're passionate about is something I could absolutely do. But here's the thing, I remember not wanting to get a master's right after my bachelor's. I had a ton of debt, and after my four years of college, I just wanted to go out into the real world, start making money, save up, not have to deal with constant homework and quizzes, and then consider going back later. And while math and physics majors can go into a wide range of fields with just a bachelor's, my first choice, if I'm not in a research position, would be an engineering job. To optimize my chances of getting one, I think the engineering degree was the right way to go. And then I could have taken some math and physics classes on the side, which I do wish I did more of. Then the next reason is while I do have a huge passion for math and physics, I still love the engineering theory and hands-on work. In fact, it's very possible if I had chosen math or physics first, I'd be making a video right now saying I wish I had done engineering because of what I missed out on. And the third reason why I might not have picked a different major, which is more unique, is I wouldn't want to miss out on making this YouTube channel. Had I not picked engineering, who knows if this would have been a thing. So maybe I was meant to pick engineering first and gain that experience, start this channel, and then get into math and physics later down the road when I'm more financially stable, have some more life experience, and a clearer vision of my goals. Notice I have not been specific on exactly what my dream job is, and that's because like I said in a previous video, it's like a funnel. And I'm just learning as much as I can to see further down that funnel towards a real end goal. I do have ideas what my dream job or life would look like, but for now I'm just going to keep learning and I'll pivot my goals and actions along the way as needed. Feel free to let me know in the comments what you think I should have done purely based on how I talk about all this. Maybe engineering physics would have been right, maybe engineering with a minor in math and a master's degree later, and so on. Because I will tell you this, of all the engineering majors I did choose right for myself. After doing all the research I do for this channel, I'm more confident than ever that electrical engineering was the right choice for me in terms of engineering, followed by these ones in that order. 
and that's purely out of interest just so you guys know. Whenever I say I would have chosen something, it's like never due to external factors such as job opportunity or how much money I make. It's always due to pure interest in the field. I mean, these are factors you should consider when looking into a major, but it was never what I looked at first. I mean, come on, you have much better odds of getting a job as an engineer or software developer compared to an AI researcher or a theoretical physicist. So please at least understand this. Everything I've said has nothing to do with me regretting my major, hating anything about it, not making enough money, not being able to find a job, or anything like that, because none of those are true. This is simply me saying on a scale of 1 to 10, my passion for engineering was like a 9, and my passion for some of these other fields feels more like a 10. I know from messages and emails I've helped a lot of people pick their major, and if you're going to doubt what you've chosen because I'm saying I may have picked one major over another, then you're completely misinterpreting everything I've said here. So at least just understand this because I don't want there to be any confusion. Hopefully that clears things up, and I hope some people can really vibe with this video because I've seen a bunch of comments where people can't pick between like five majors, and I can totally understand that feeling. And for anyone saying they might have picked the wrong major and it's too late to switch and there's nothing you can do now, don't see this as such a one lane road. Your degree does not mean you can only have one career path and you'll never escape it. Even if you can't switch now because it's too late, that's okay. People get jobs at different sectors just by being trained at a company they've worked for because a new position's opened up and they've worked there for a few years. Or some companies will pay for you to go back to school later down the road. Don't see any of your decisions as permanent or unchangeable. Just keep learning about what you truly want to do, take action along the way to make that happen, and you'll figure it out. If you guys have any questions for me about something I may have missed, please comment them below and I'll try to answer everything that I can. And before I end this video, I just want to thank SCORE for sponsoring this video. SCORE is an online platform that connects students to educational opportunities. You choose where and what you want to study, find a program that matches your interest, and if you fit admission criteria, you will get personalized help to move on with your application. Many of the programs offered are specifically engineering programs as well. Currently, one of those is for a master's in petroleum engineering offered at London South Bank University. Through this program offered in London, you will gain knowledge of oil and gas processing, as well as learn math, science, computer-based methods, design, and engineering practice to solve petroleum engineering problems. The program courses are accredited and designed with the industry leaders, meaning promising employment opportunities post-graduation. If you're eligible, you can take the SCORE challenge by clicking the link below and apply to the program. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed, be sure to like and subscribe. If you're interested in any Major Prep merch, links are below. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and join the Major Prep Facebook group for updates on everything, and I'll see you all in the next video.